Um, so I, it's I a push-pull like... mechanism. All right, I can put it in park for two seconds. Okay. So this is the hand controls here, right? I push right. down for brake, and I pull down this way for gas. Okay, um, and then when I push down on the brake, there's a lever over here. So this one lets off, and then the brake one goes down. One of the places I rehearse visually is when I'm driving. Um, I put the music on and I visualize the routine in my head uh, because as busy as I am, it's hard for me to, you know, find time. Plus part of saving my body is memorizing the routine and the performance, the dance, whatever you want to call it, um, in, you know, with methods that don't necessarily incur my body. So, so my car becomes my studio. No. <laughs> Recently, like I said, the only frustration I'm experiencing is just not being in shape. See, I don't want to look weak. You know, if I get out there and I'm winded and tired, you know, as a performer, you want to look like you're on your game and you got your stuff together. But at the same time, as a person with a disability, I think I want to prove, I want to demonstrate and prove, you know, whatever, validate that um, I'm capable and that, you know, and that I don't struggle, you know, <laughs> even though the reality is we all struggle. So... I'm going to go see my mom, and she lives in Dryden with my brother. Um, I did her shopping yesterday, so today I can go uh, visit with her and maybe rub her back a little bit. She's um, She's got COPD. Right now, in particular, she's um, not been feeling well, so I'm going to go spend some quality time with her. Um, she's pretty much the champion of my life. Um, when the doctors told her to institutionalize me, um, she was like, what are you talking about? He's my son. And, you know, it instilled in her, I believe, the, a, a greater motivation to want to see me succeed. It was very dramatic. Um, they didn't know that my legs were going to be different prior to birth. When she did finally see me, I was in a body cast. So I think they were trying to um, situate my legs, you know, structurally. Because when, when I was born, my legs were up, my feet were up here. And the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck and my, my legs multiple times. And um, so when they brought, when I was born breech and they brought my legs down, they broke my hips. So I think they were trying to set my legs, but um, my hips, my knees, and my ankles are deformed. So they, they, you know, they were trying to put a puzzle together and the pieces didn't fit. She finally demanded to see me. Um, they brought me in. They proceeded to tell her that um, she should consider institutionalizing me, that I would never develop. They saw me as a burden and, and, and she thought, well, that's crazy. Like, you know, I don't know. He's still my son. Like, you know, what is, it's not a pair of shoes you return to the store. And they wanted to institutionalize him and everything. So they sent me to a psychiatrist because I said no. <laughs> and I said, what are you crazy? I said, he's got a whole life to live. I don't want him to merely survive. I want him to live. This is we're family, you know? You're not splitting us up, you're not taking it away. We're gonna do this. As a teenager, I started, you know, using drugs as a way of a coping mechanism uh, to deal with the pain of, and the fear and the anxiety around 
coming out around being who I was. And um, it was easier just to go down to the beach and get stoned, you know, and numb myself to those feelings. I do regret the fact that, you know, um, I could have reached potential sooner. I know when you were coming of age, you had your struggles. Yeah, I went through that. I was aware of that. But I think you started changing a lot sooner than you realized. As you can tell, I'm still working out the time, timing of it all. But I'm also worried about like um, the strain on my body. They will tell, they will know if I'm weak. They'll know if I'm tired. They'll know, you know. So, um, part of the impressiveness of the performance is not just the choreography, but the, the uh, confidence and the strength and the kind of like presence in it. some minor tweaks and it was great, it was fun. Most importantly, it was fun. And the, the, the roar was really awesome at the end. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice job. Thank that was you. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I joke around a lot, but there's a serious side of me. There's a part of me that is, you know, um, connected to the world. I can embrace who I am and really be okay with who I am then I don't have to prove it to anybody. I should just go about my life 
and, and be grateful for my life. And then that gratitude and that um, experience will translate to others and, and actually be inspirational. I don't have to try to be inspirational. You know, I can just be me. Thank you.